Hi guys, so tonight for dinner I am making something that I have made many many times in the past but I haven't made it in probably over a year or so. Um, so I was looking through my old cookbook of recipes that I made and I thought that I would show you guys. So what you need <clears throat> is a box of the jumbo shell pasta and this is just stuffed jumbo shell pasta, that's what it is. So you need one box of that, some cooking spray, um, I have three of the small 8 ounce cans of tomato sauce. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all three yet or not. You need one egg or one serving of the liquid eggs. <clears throat> you need a can of the white chicken and water. Um, this is a... how many ounces? 10 ounce can. You can use re uh, regular chicken breast just like boil them or grill them or whatever. But this is faster so I'm going to use this. And then you need one package or one container which this is 16 ounces of the low fat cottage cheese and then I have some broccoli that I'm just going to serve as a side okay so what I have already done is my pasta is done boiling I only cooked them for about five or six minutes um, because they're going to end up finished cooking in the oven so I have a 9 by 13 pan here I'm going to spray my pan with canola oil and then we're going to set those aside. Then we are going to mix these three ingredients in a bowl. The whole package of cottage cheese, the whole can of chicken, and then the one egg. Okay, so I mixed all the, <clears throat> excuse me, cottage cheese, egg, and then the canned chicken in there. And it gave me a pretty good portion. <clears throat> I sprayed my pan with my cooking spray. And then I don't know if you can see here, but because this is just plain tomato sauce, I added um, like a teaspoon of... It's, I'll show you what it is. My sister got this for me, but it's kind of just like um, Italian seasoning. So I use a teaspoon of each in that and I just stirred it right there in the can so I don't have to make a mess with another dish. Um, so I'm going to pour one can in the bottom of this. And oh, to this, I also just added a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper, but you can add whatever seasonings that you like. So I'm going to uh, pour this in the bottom of my pan and then I'm going to start uh, spooning my mixture into my shells there. One small spoonful for each one to start with just to make sure that we can get all the noodles filled. Okay so I have all my shells stuffed. There are 25 in here so um, there are five shells oh sorry excuse me seven shells per serving so that's about four four servings or so. <clears throat> and I still have quite a bit of noodles left over, but you know when you cook these, a lot of them um, like break and stuff like that. So I'm not going to use the rest of those. So my um, mixture fit perfectly in there, <clears throat> and I'm going to take the rest of my two cans and pour it over the top. And then I'm going to top it with um, just one-fourth of a cup of this Italian cheese. This is not a Weight Watchers cheese, but it's two points for the one-fourth of a cup. And then I'm going to bake this in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes. Okay, so my jumbo shells are all finished. They baked at 350 for 45 minutes. And this is what they look like. They look so yummy. I'm going to show you a side picture. Okay, now this entire dish is 50 points. And since there are seven shells per serving, which I think is a lot, that makes this about seven and a half points um, altogether. So I'm just going to do a run through, let me grab my paper, of the point values for everything. Okay, so the pastas um, are five points for uh, the seven shells, and then, so I have like four servings of that, and then there, the chicken was four points for the whole can, cottage cheese was eight points for the whole container, the egg was two points, all three cans of tomato sauce were nine points, and then the cheese was two points total. So, anywho, I hope you guys like this video. If you try this recipe, let me know in the comments below. Um, sometimes I've done this with a can of the tomato sauce on bottom and then the white sauce on top and then like a half and half, and that is really delicious as well. That's my favorite way to make that, but this is lo lower in points this way. So anyways, leave any comments, give me a thumbs up as always, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.